President Mohamed Buhari sacks Niger Delta Amnesty Coordinator. Federal Government sets up Committee for Economic Prosperity. Senate urges Federal Government to declare state of emergency in health sector. Welcome to the PM News at this time on Television Nigerian. I am Eunice Johnson. President Mohamed Buhari has relieved Brigadier General Paul Boro of his position as the coordinator of the Presidential Amnesty Program for former Niger Delta militants and has approved the appointment of Professor Charles Dokubo as the new helmsman. Prior to this announcement, Professor Dokubo was a director of research and studies at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs and hails from Abonema Akukutoru local government of River State. The President has further directed the National Security Advisor to carry out a full investigation into the activities of the Amnesty Program from 2015 till date, with a focus on allegations of financial impropriety and other acts that are allegedly detrimental to the objectives of the Presidential Amnesty Program. In response to the need to vigorously pursue economic prosperity and social development in Nigeria, the federal government has inaugurated a five-member committee to ensure that financial services are delivered for economic prosperity. The Minister of Finance, Mrs. Kemi Adeoshun, represented by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Finance, Mr. Issa Duse Mahmoud, charged the committee known as the Nigerian Sustainable Finance Committee to ensure that financial services are rendered in such ways and manners that protect the environment from externalities. Acknowledging the fact that Nigeria is endowed with abundant natural resources and human resources as well, which can be adequately and efficiently harnessed to strengthen public finance, the finance minister further implored the committee to take innovative and pragmatic steps to facilitate, encourage, and support activities which would impact the nation economically and socially. After the break, Senate urges federal government to declare state of emergency in health sector. Thanks for staying tuned. The Nigerian Senate has urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency in the country's public health sector over decay of infrastructure. The Senate also urged the federal government to provide special funding for the overhaul of at least one public medical facility in each geopolitical zone in the country. The Senate, following a unanimous adoption of the motion moved by Senate Hong Kui, resolved to ensure adequate funding for primary health care services in the country while working on the 2018 appropriation bill. And in sports, Manchester United has crashed out of the Champions League trophy chase as Wissam Ben Yedda struck twice in four second half minutes to send Sevilla into the quarterfinals for the first time in 60 years with a stunning 2-1 win at the Old Trafford on Tuesday. Sevilla, who progresses into the quarterfinal rounds by the same score on aggregate after a goalless first leg draw, were deserving winners as they controlled the game throughout. Manchester United is leaving the competition along with Tottenham, while Premier League leaders Manchester City and Liverpool has progressed to Friday's quarter final draw. And on the foreign scene, in an unprecedented fight against fake drugs in the West African region, a court in Cotonou Bene Republic has jailed seven senior staff of pharmaceutical companies on charges of selling illicit drugs. The seven men work for wholesalers importing all kinds of medicines ranging from painkillers to anti-malaria drugs for sale in the Benin Republic region. 
They were jailed for four years and fined a total of 100 million CFA francs, equivalent of $190,000. Two other defendants were given six-month jail term sentences. Kutanu is one of West Africa's biggest ports and the country has been making efforts to launder the city's image as a crossroads for counterfeit goods. Palestinian Prime Minister Rami Hamdallah survived an assassination attempt in northern Gaza on Tuesday morning. According to reports, Hamdallah, who was making a short trip to the coastal enclave to mark the opening of a new water treatment facility, had just passed through the Erez border, crossing from Israel when a bomb detonated near his convoy, tearing the siding off at least one black SUV and blowing out the car's windows. No one was injured in the attack, said Iyad al bazoum spokesman for the Palestinian Ministry of Interior and National Security. In a Facebook post, Palestinian Authority Minister of Intelligence Majid Faraj, a close ally of Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas, was also in the convoy. Before we end the news bulletin at this time, a recap of the major stories. President Buhari sacks Niger Delta Amnesty Coordinator. Federal government sets up committee for economic prosperity. Senate urges federal government to declare state of emergency in health sector. And that's the news hour. But before we go, I leave you with this thought. A letter from the heart can mostly be read on the face. Thanks for staying tuned. I am Eunice Johnson. Bye for now.